Hi, uh, my name is Kevin Warner. Um, I've got a series of ships here that I built. Um, the two Imperial ships on the end are fairly, pretty much the same as the Imperial flagship set that LEGO released several years back. A um, few modifications on them. Um, I did one with the uh, blue pattern that the set came with, and then I did another one with a set of red on there. Uh, have the different series of uniforms between the red and the blue, just kind of... Uh, it's not historically accurate, but it is uh, how LEGO did it in the past. They've done some blue uniforms, some red uniforms, so I kind of liked uh, doing that there. The um, pirate ship in the middle is uh, kind of a revamp uh, build from the Black Seas Barracuda that LEGO did uh, many years back. Uh, it was one of my favorite uh, pirate ships that I never got. but. Uh, <laughs> um, so, and I kind of wanted to do a double gun deck on that one there, and uh, made it bigger than the other ships. Um, and it's uh, it's packing a bit of firepower. I think there's 28 cannon on uh, the Black Seas Barracuda. Um, I think one of my favorite details that I did on this one here is the use of the masonry bricks on the deck. Um, I've got one side with the masonry side out, and then two in a row with the... Um, just straight line. Mm -hmm. Let me. So yeah, that that works really well for the the kind of the deck technique there to get those those lines going. And you see a close up there. You can see uh, I got the masonry brick, and then two of the straight ones, and then another masonry to kind of make it look more like the wood planks. Um, so there's quite a few of the uh, dark tan uh, masonry bricks there on that. Right, that's a really, really good idea there, because yeah, when you put them like that, it definitely gives the wood effect to the deck. I like that. Um, and then, um, kind of the last minute additions with this build was uh, the uh, cannon explosions with the uh, cannonballs flying out, and then uh, the kind of uh, lazy uh, blue bricks <laughs> sl uh, sitting around the ships to c make it look like it's on water. <laughs> a little last minute part stumping there. Yeah, it was... Uh, didn't have quite enough uh, pieces to fill in the gaps in between, so I figured that would just uh, work. <laughs> it works. So then, uh, as far as the holes of these ships, is that pretty much all brick build, or what, what's kind of the main structure there? Um, the holes are pretty much the uh, Lego uh, uh, hole pieces that they have. It's uh, nothing real special there. Um, and then just uh, building up the sides of the ship with the uh, different detailing. Um, and like I said, the... The Imperial ships are pretty close to the flagships. I uh, did my own uh, figureheads, redid the decks because uh, they were kind of cluttered on the original set. Uh, added stairs up to the stern with the helm and everything. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think these are really impressive. The way, you, especially this middle one, the way you built that up there and everything. What's what's the hardest part about getting? You got like the double decks there and everything. What's the, what's the hardest part about building these ships up? Uh, the hardest part was the way I did the deck with the masonry bricks. Um, so I actually have to have on the deck below support beams uh, so that I can somewhat push down on the deck without it all collapsing in uh, because it, the deck is just sitting there. It's not attached at any point. Uh, it's just sitting there on gravity. So I uh, had to do some supports there, and then it's a little hard uh, setting the guys up sometimes. But... Right, yeah. And are these things pretty strong? Like when you bring them to a show, as far as the mass and everything, does it stay to together pretty well? Um, when I brought it into the show, I uh, took all the sails off and pulled the masts off. Uh, and then uh, the ship itself is real solid, so I could just uh, set that down in the back of my car and it can't, got here with no damage. So. <laughs> sure. Well, these are very impressive and I appreciate you taking us through them. I really like them. Thank you. Thank you.